Hi, my name's Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So, I have an update from Tony Jaboni Aka Rob on his engineering drawings and parts for the mock up of the wind hex for the prototype. You can see the exploded view here on your screen showing all the seals in uh, red pink. Here is the cone. The bottom of the cone will be 120 millimeters, so it is really a prototype. And that meant the steel of this part had to be 101.5 millimeters. Here is the central section with the whistles. And uh, you can see how that fits together with the welds. And you've got the movable parts. This is the top vent, which can be moved up and down to tune the system. And here is the whistle inlet port assembly with the 3D molded angle joint. And there it is. Produced all of the resource files for this to go into production and checked with a manufacturer uh, that it's all going to work. And so he says that he'll be posting photos of the progress on the build and if anything changes in the prototype he'll update the drawings okay so there we have that uh, this is the resource folder <clears throat> uh, in the description of this video you will see a link to where you can find and download this thanks again to tony for doing that um, we have a number of PDF drawings, engineering drawings uh, with detail sections. So you can see, uh, for instance, over here, the angles for the air entry in the whistle and the fact that you can move this thing in and out and change the size of the port through which the air goes. These are the flat steel sections and over here this series of eight struts, if I can find it, uh, over here. These eight of these go around this jig to form the cone over here which is made out of this little sort of skirt section of laser cut steel. And everything is clearly labeled so you'll be able to understand what you're looking at. Uh, various parts here for the gaskets and this is showing you how the gaskets go into the structure so you can see here gaskets for the adjustment of the whistle blade and the gasket for the 3D printed section here. All of the nuts and bolts. So it really is a comprehensive piece of work. Very, very, very kind of him to do this for the community. So here you can see how the jig would be welded up and presumably if you're going to put these into production you wouldn't need multiple jigs so you'd only have to make this once and so that would bring the subsequent cost of making things down a little bit lower and so there we go this is the bottom cone section this is the whistle port section again up on the knife edge of the whistle there you can see the it's fully open at that point it's up to a three millimeter entry port there this is the tunable port at the top for the output again extra detail there extra detail here and the large flat sections there and a kind of overview so that's that and then there is the 3d port here 
and this is an indicative one it may be the case that this is the wrong angle and this needs to be adjusted and have, have a different one made for the air flow to come into the sort of antechamber of the whistle yeah so this might change the angle here so you can see that Tony has got some extra space in here so that if this needs to be adjusted to a different angle with a different 3D printed part that can be done. Of course there is the opportunity to rotate this part and have it go in at a little different sort of angle as it is. So there it is and he's also produced the STL part for that here so you can see you can print this part now potentially uh, you would want to print this in metal but uh, it could be a ABS I don't know I haven't spoken to Tony about that but uh, Rob is this meant to be in ABS <laughs> that's my question to you but uh, there we go so CNC laser cut metal metal forming and so forth will be done because of course these parts here need to be formed and bent but uh, he's worked with the metal worker to ensure that this will all fit together and so that's absolutely fantastic thank you Tony Gimoni, Aka, Rob and you can go down to the description and find the link where you will be able to get the resource files. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.